Welcome back to episode 2 of an ongoing series where we build a very British park. I say we, but in reality I'm sat here on my own contemplating life, like a cat in a window. Last episode, we created a rural British biome, a car park, and built the guest services. But before we continue, there is something very important we must address. Over to News Moomin in the studio. Following episode 1, it was brought to my attention that I made the grave mistake of implying Ireland was part of the United Kingdom. Southern Ireland had the common sense to leave the UK in 1922, leaving us with Northern Ireland, who used this incredibly uninviting flag until 1973. But I digress. From everyone here at Little Sox News, Weather Moomin, Camera Moomin, Dolly Operator Moomin, and everyone else at Moomin Studios, we are incredibly sorry. In other news, we have reached 100 subscribers, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it means a lot to us. Crane Operator Moomin is getting very emotional. Don't look at me! That's all from us here in the studio, back to you at the Very British Park. Thanks, News Moomin. I hope nobody works out that I made the mistake intentionally just so I could do this bit. Anyway, between the last episode and this one, I made a few small additions to guest services, such as fire alarms, vending machines, and these wonderful UK plug sockets. I wonder who made them? It was me. This episode, we will be building the park entrance and a small plaza, so hold on to your tiny hats as we jump into another time lapse. As it currently stands, the park is called a Very British Park, as shown by this beautiful sign. However, the name of the park is up to you. Come up with your best British theme park names and comment down below. The one I like the most will end up being the name of the park. Hashtag no pressure. Anyway, back to the time lapse.
And thus the park entrance is done. I will leave you with some cinematic shots whilst I go have a cup of tea and try to determine the true pronunciation of scone. <laughs>